This is Special Chronicles, giving respect and a voice to people with special needs. I shudder thinking how the world can be so cruel. I lend my voice to those who can. It's time we try, it's time we care, it's time we stand. It starts with a voice. Welcome to the Special Chronicles podcast. My name is Daniel Spukowski. I'm the founder of Special Chronicles and a Southern Survivor Global Messenger alum with Special Olympics and a Service Ambassador at United Airlines. This our website, uh, specialchronicles.com. You can follow us on social media uh, and and find the show notes and all that, uh, specialchronicles.com. This week on the Special Chronicles podcast, Unified at Work Series, Season 5, Part 6. We're on the job with a solo episode this week. Yes, it is just me. Daniel in the studio this week as we recap the 2024 Sosa Summit. That is uh, last week. It was a day of networking and professional development of United Airlines 18 service ambassadors. Uh, actually, there was two that couldn't uh, actually come. So I believe there was, um, I'm not going to math, but uh, 15. Uh, if you're listening, uh, send <laughs> just uh uh, 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 specialchronicles.com slash contact. Uh, send me a, a message and let me know if I did my math right, but I think there was only 15 of us there, but there's a total of 18 service ambassadors. So um, please put your virtual hands together as we kick off this week's episode of the recap, the 2024 Social Summit. And we're going to begin, and I'm, I'm going to kind of use um, some of, um, I didn't take a, I didn't take a lot of notes, but uh, I took some notes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some of my notes here, and then um, I'm going to uh, reference a uh, story that went a uh, internal employee uh, story that that went out. Um, so I'm going to kind of use some of that as kind of a guide uh, to to recap this. Um, but first, uh, this, so this is a chance that all of us service ambassadors, whether so like I'm based in at um, OLD in Chicago uh, airport, uh, uh, but then also all service ambassadors in Denver, Houston, Washington, Dallas, they all uh, they all flew in uh, to the airport in Chicago. Uh, Someone to like, if you're watching the video, you see that I'm in the United Palauas uh, Club. Uh, kind of, we quote him from there. Today, uh, if you're listening to the audio podcast, you know what you're wondering, is he actually recording? Well, go check out the video on YouTube and you will see if I'm actually uh, in United United's Palauas Club. I will let, uh, that is a, that's a little sneak peek for the, 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 the uh, viewers. But I wanted to let you know that this past week, uh, uh, 18 minus two that um, couldn't come, uh, which uh, uh, let's just say in the future, if any of my managers are listening, I would like to give a recommendation that we know at least, I would say at least three weeks in advance, uh, just uh, so that way uh, everybody can save the date on their calendars. Uh, so instead of giving a week's notice, but uh, that is just besides the point. I just wanted to kind of sh- let uh, share my op- opinion there. Uh, this week, our 18 Special Olympic Service Ambassadors, SOSAs, um, from Denver, Washington, Dallas, Houston, and Chicago, gathered for the annual SOSA Summit at OLD. Uh, this was the first time in the past two years, it's been two years since a group of service ambassadors were able to get together. And uh, it was the first time that the uh, Washington Dallas, the IAD service ambassadors, were able to join since they were onboarded in, I believe it was beginning of 2023. I believe it was beginning of last year that they were onboarded. Uh, if uh, anyone's listening, 
You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was correct. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a short break and uh, and let you know how you can support this podcast. When we come back, we'll hear a little bit more about um, a uh, senior vice president guest and a fireside chat that took place at the Sosa Summit. Uh, but we just want to just take a um, brief break to let you know that support for Special Chronicles comes from listeners like you. Uh, please join our supporters with our monthly or one-time donations. We can operate our studio and continue our mission of giving respect and voice to people with disabilities through the media. Visit specialchronicles.com slash give. That's specialchronicles.com slash give to donate today. You can also visit specialchronicles.com slash plus specialchronicles.com slash plus to access our Special Chronicles Plus behind the scenes podcast, which features bonus content and you can help support the show. We are currently, our website team is currently helping us with that that that, that Plus podcast. So we uh, don't totally have that up yet, but we're currently working on that. So once again, specialchronicles.com slash give to support this podcast. And with that, uh, uh, back to this uh, 2024 Social Summit, um, the uh, 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 David Kinsman is the airport operations senior vice president, and and uh, in this fireside chat, he uh, he told us that uh, this, meaning our service ambassador program, is one of his favorite programs here at United Airlines, and he kicked off the summit by welcoming all of us service ambassadors. And first off, just a little note. I have no idea why some people started referring to us as SOSA's Special Olympic Service Ambassadors when our job title is just Service Ambassador. But that is just a little uh, thing that I always wondered why. But anyways, uh, uh, David Kingsman, again, he's the airport operations senior vice president, said that, quote, you're a critical role for the success of us at United you are all ambassadors literally by name, being engaging, welcoming, proactive, and authentic are important. And I've never seen our ambassadors not smiling, which is great. I just want to thank you for being part of this program. And so uh, once David had uh, spoke to us, uh, our group of service ambassadors were, were then able to, um, we had many questions for him covering a range of topics from how we can help make the bag drop sh- shortcut even, even better? What's the plan for our, our new United Next aircraft? How to speak with customers about the exciting changes and why I'll bus assisting them in the lobby. And so uh, not only for myself, but I think all of us those ambassadors were ready with this airport operations senior vice president. We were all ready engaged with him and throughout the, throughout the, uh, social summit. We will we will already engage with uh, uh, in, interacting and in, in, in just coming with questions and and so that that was really fun to see. And of course, the day w- couldn't truly begin without a safety briefing because that's something at United safety is like is the number one core value. And so we had a safety briefing, and when asked who knew. Uh, CPL, nearly every athlete in the room raised their hand, ready to help. I did not raise my hand, but maybe I should loan CPL. So, anyways, uh, uh, so that was kind of fun to see. Um, the uh, group, uh, our service ambassadors, we also hold from Denver Hub VP, uh, Jana McGrath, uh, who, uh, Jana, for those of you, um, she, she's been a guest on this podcast and, and before, uh, she was one of the uh, leaders who uh, started also its ambassador program five years ago. So, Jana, along with um, Pete Pio DeVecchio, Special Olympics Illinois President and CEO, both of them had a fireside chat. So, th- they both spoke, and then we were able to again kind of uh, offer um, uh, 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 and uh, ask some questions. Uh, Jana had said, I'm so excited to have you all here. Uh, today is an amazing opportunity to learn new things from each other, take on new challenges, and continue to grow. Something else that Jana said that I made a note of is, uh, um, 
Jaina said uh, uh, that to never underestimate anyone. That true inclusion. Jaina said that true inclusion means to never under uh, uh, to never underestimate anyone. And I think that way that, that that also speaks to the health of what our service ambassadors bring to United Airlines. Uh, also, uh, our service ambassadors again were able to uh, have an open flow for questions, and we chatted over everything from uh, when there will be a chance to do more job shadowing to what sports everyone played, some popular ones for basketball and skiing. So yeah, so we we waited really to actually when when the, when's another job shadowing opportunity? That was a question that I actually also asked. Um, Denver Service Ambassador Cody Field. Uh, had said that he's so excited to be able to learn a lot of new things, some uh, that he never thought he could do before. That's something that uh, five years ago, before having this job as a service ambassador at United Airlines, that I never thought that I, I, I didn't know anything about aviation. I didn't know that somebody like me could have a job like this. And so United and Special, um, so um, Cody said United and Special Olympics got together uh, is, is all about inclusion, and inclusion is, in his mind, is the revolution. Speaking of the inclusion revolution. Uh, also, uh, Denville, Service so Ambassador Hannah Eckerson. Hannah has also um, been a previous guest on this podcast. Um, by the way, I'm going to put a link in the show notes to a playlist where you can hear conversations with all of the Service Ambassadors. Um, we're currently um, trying to find a time of when I could... Uh, when we could have the Washington Dallas team on, but uh, um, currently Chicago, Houston, um, Houston, and Denver, those um, uh, episodes we, we we have a playlist on our website, so that link will be in the show notes. And again, it, anyways, our good friend, our, our good friend and listener of the pod, uh, Denver Service Ambassador Hannah said, uh, "Quote: I'm trying to to lean into my fullest potential." Uh, Hannah said that she was thrilled to be in Chicago, taking in everything from the summit. Hannah said, uh, quote, I don't know what that is yet, and I'm still trying to figure out that out one step at a time, end quote. Uh, also, the uh, all of us uh, service ambassadors, all of us athletes, also uh, talked about some of the challenges that our service ambassadors face each day. Uh, again, I'm not going in to, in, in, um, publicly on this podcast, I, I'm not going to, Talk about those challenges, um, but I just want to kind of l- let you know that in addition to networking and professional development, we're able to share, including, you know, those people from headquarters that were there that were able to, to uh, actually, this, this was a chance for us to uh, voice or voice all, voice the um, any challenges that we had. Uh, the, um, like, uh, not, n- not, like, uh, not, like, not, being believed that we are we are United employees when when we are interacting with customers, but the good always the bad and some of the and some of our highlights of being on the job are working with each other, getting to know the customers and our colleagues, being inclusive of everyone and bringing humor to each day, complete with Star Wars references when possible. Uh, also, I want to kind of show you some quotes of what some uh, some other service ambassador. I mean, some some of what all. Uh, what our colleagues and what our supervisors have said. Um, Houston Airport Operations Supervisor Moritz, I think that's how you say her name. Uh, she said, uh, from the first time our teams met, they clicked immediately. They all have this positive energy that they bring to United. Having everyone together in the same room and having the opportunity to actually interact in person and then discuss their challenges, their desires, what they want to learn about, and how they want to grow as professionals. This is a great opportunity for us. So that was just such a, just such, uh, just such so awesome to kind of hear that, that he was one of the Apple Operations Supervisors in Houston that, that really commented on that. Uh, and then, um, uh, and then uh, Denver Customer Service Representative, uh, Helene Camino Smith said that it really makes a difference having everyone together. Uh, who um, Helene uh, helped to host the last summit in Denver, and Helene also said today our sources can connect and become friends, 
they uh, chat and talk experiences, best practices, all that. It's big for them. And then for Helene, it's a web presentation. But the program is getting bigger and expanding from what it was. And again, um, I want to make a note of something else that Helene said is that uh, that uh, uh, live uh, true inclusion at work. That this show is ambassador program witty is how you live true inclusion at work. So uh, also just uh, that was another quote I just wanted to kind of comment on. Uh, before we get into the next part of the social summit, we're gonna take a uh, a brief um, break. To let you know that support for Special Chronicles comes from Hamed Energy Force Ambassador Program, the country's first energy and solar efficiency education program designed for and taught by people with disabilities. Learn more at specialchronicles.com slash Hamed. That's specialchronicles.com slash Hamed. And with that, uh, the next part after the fireside chat, uh, all the service ambassadors did an icebreaker to get to know each other. And then that moved into a self-assessment workshop led by Special Olympics Illinois, uh, Karen Milgan and Matt Johnson. Uh, they both have actually on, on this Unified Work series, they have been both have been previously guests. Let's go back and look, go back to season one of this Unified Work series to hear from Karen and Matt and, and how from the Special Olympics perspective of uh, of the early days of also a semester program. Uh, do you, uh, and, and then, uh, then it, it moved and, and, and that self-assessment, I really loved it. Um, I only got through only the first few pages of it. I didn't get to have to finish it. So hopefully, hopefully I, I need to the, the next week or so need, need to try to, to, to finish that. Uh, but uh, also doing uh, some of the breakout sessions, all the service ambassadors mapped out, our personal development goals, and then and then ended the day with closing remarks to recap everything that we learned and to inspire our continued engagement as we return to our home hubs, our home bases. Uh, one of the 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 that uh, the uh, Houston um, uh, 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 supervisors said that uh, she thinks that it is a great opportunity for the world to see how. Much potential these individuals have, are sometimes underappreciated or considered challenged to show the world what they can do. She said uh, she's so proud to be part of this opportunity and showing the world that though that those uh, that uh, uh, we all we all have we all different we all have challenges but we can make the world a better place together. Uh, also. Um, uh, customer service performance execution and strategy director Von Doherty said that we are incredibly proud to, uh, of the enthusiasm and character shown by our Sosa uh, athletes at this year's summit. The dedication uh, to enhancing our customer service shines through exemplifying our teamwork and inclusiveness at United. We look forward to bring the Sosa program to. Can I say that? Can I say that? Drum roll. LAX, San Francisco later this year, and soon Newark uh, uh, as we can. You know what? Ah. To LAX and San Francisco later this year, and soon EWR as we continue to improve travel experiences together. Again, I may I may have dropped the ball. I mean, I, 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 I may have uh, broken some news there. We'll see who actually listens to uh, to this to, to this episode to see if uh, you know yeah, yeah we'll see who actually listens. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm sure many of you will. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't get in trouble for spilling the beans. <laughs> okay, in October the service and best the social program the service and best program we're turned five years old. Uh, and we uh, and United is excited for the future. I want to kind of end with one final quote here from uh, my old manager, about Steve Suchabowski is the United Airlines Customer Strategy and Innovation Manager. And Steve said, from hosting our first ever job channel back in 2018, and seeing how far we have come, we're now uh, with now 18 uh, service ambassador colleagues. We are teaching these individuals how to be independent in the world. This truly shows we are just doing the right thing at United. 
uh, I'd like to uh, uh, encourage you all to uh, stay tuned for more updates later this year. We'll hopefully on this Unified Network series and this podcast, the Special Chronicles podcast and our Unified Network series, we will hopefully update you on this podcast with more information uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, t- uh, about uh, as we share more conversations about inclusive employment, uh, which that is the focus of the Unified Work Series right here on the Special Chronicles podcast. We'll take one final break and get to some social media plugs at the end of the program to let just let you know that support for Special Chronicles comes from United Airlines Bridge Disability Business Resource Group, connecting people of all abilities. Learn more on United's commitment to disability inclusion for employment and travel at specialchronicles.com slash united. That's specialchronicles.com slash united. And we're going to end the that. And let me just uh, head back to uh, other, oh, other, um, One the uh, other clips here. There, okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on the up ep- this episode, you can tune in to a playlist and hear a collection of conversations with United's sources from Chicago, Denver, and Houston. Coming soon, the Washington Dallas sources. Um, uh, but it, that that link uh, to that playlist will be in the show notes. So just um, just click on that link if 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 you want to hear. It will be in the description below. Well, we listen. Just go to specialchronicles.com. Look for episode five hundred and eighty. Also, you can follow and listen to our Unified at Work series and hear more conversations about inclusive employment. Uh, just go to specialchronicles.com. Click on listen, then click on Unified at Work. You can also check out United Online Social Story to help prepare you for travel. That link to that, that social story is in the show notes. Also, you can book your travel today on united.com and or on the award winning United mobile app, one of the best airline travel apps. I am not just paying to say that, but I would say even if I wasn't. So go download United's mobile app. A little more on United's commitment to disability inclusion for employment and travel, specialchronicles.com slash United. Uh, also, just uh, some final thoughts I would like to share. I hope you guys all have enjoyed this recap that I gave. Again, if you're watching the video, you'll see I'm wearing this Camp Being United. Where is it? There we go. Camp hashtag Being United uh, t-shirt. Uh, that was from a uh, social media uh, workshop. Uh, for content creators of United employees. So, anyways, um, that is the T-shirt that I'm sporting today on the this episode of the pod. Uh, and if you do not know what I'm wearing, if you're listening to the audio podcast, you're missing out. Because did you know that you can also watch this episode YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn? Mostly all on on YouTube. Well, okay, mostly every week on YouTube uh, and Facebook. Uh, and occasionally on LinkedIn. So, uh, but if we make these short episodes, then they will all be YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, uh, but also, you know, you, you can listen on specialchronicles.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, you know the draw. Uh, a few final plugs. Again, this is going to be a short episode, but you can shop our Special Chronicles merchandise store and know that 60%, 60%, 60% of the profits will go to support Special Chronicles. A Special Chronicles merch store is managed by our trying labels. We have t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, candles. Uh, you can visit specialchronicles.com slash shop. That's specialchronicles.com slash shop to shop our merchandise store today. And if, if you do, please tag Special Chronicles and our trying labels on Instagram so we can see your uh, uh, pictures. And and uh, yeah, because that will help a lot more people come shop almost oh, still. Uh, keep following the Special Chronicles podcast or tap that follow button wherever you are listening. If you're listening at specialchronicles.com, uh, you can um, subscribe by 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 email. But uh, you, if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, wherever, go tap that follow button right there. You know, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, wait, and go tap. 
go tap that button. Uh, as uh, new episodes drop weekly, this week is, I'm recording this on a holiday, so this will be getting to you a little late than the usual time in the morning. So you're, you're going to get this week's episode uh, in the afternoon, but that's because it's a holiday weekend. And I was trying to take some, take some, some time off from work, and I was able to do that. And so, um, uh, don't uh, don't miss our original content that help you make impactful and inclusive connections in your life uh, through uh, to help you make impactful and inclusive connections in your life through our podcast. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, what inclusion means to you. Me and I'm gonna in, in doing that. I'm gonna quote a couple people from the the Sosa Summit. So let's go ahead and whoa that bumpo. We're not just athletes. We are the ambassadors of an uprising, peaceful protesters in a rebellion against anyone who has a fear of difference. Different difference. Our demands are equality, 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 dignity, 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 and the recognition of our shared humanity. We will not stop. Or accept anything less. Today, our world is more divided than ever. And coming together has never been more urgent. The revolution is inclusion. Find out more at jointherevolution.org. Ever since I attended the 2019 Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi, I've been asking all of our guests one final question. Because this is a solo episode, I'm going to ask myself. But... Also, inclusion and inclusion revolution is a big message in our Special Olympics movement. Inclusion is important at United Airlines as well, as well as here at Special Chronicles. And so, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am going to quote a couple other people from the Social Summit, and that is, I'm gonna quote Helene from our Denver Hub saying how uh, to to live true inclusion at work is the health of our service ambassador program. And also, China said that true inclusion means that to never under to never underestimate anyone. That I am quoting these colleagues at United Airlines, because I think that this this also is the best sort of program. This is what inclusion means to me. This is what true inclusive employment means. This is what inclusion at work means to me. And uh, is 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 this so is the best sort of program? Uh, remember, you can visit our website, specialchronicles.com. That's specialchronicles.com. Please go click give to uh, donate today. You can uh, pretty soon you'll be able to access our plus behind the scenes podcast. Uh, and you can subscribe to our newsletter. You can also stream our archives of over 750 episodes absolutely for free. And I follow Special Chronicles on social media, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Have a great week. I'll catch you next week. In June, I just want to let you all know. In June, we have we're gonna have uh, uh, um, we're gonna we broadcast episodes in June, just so like I could take some some time off and also um, pre-record an, an exciting an exciting series that will be coming in July that I am so excited about. Well, it, it's really a mini series. I'm so excited about this mini series. It's some people that I met back in October, and I am not. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I am not going to let the cat out of the, out of the bag of this series because um, it is uh, in a pretty. It has to do with a global event, and that's all I'm going to say. Okay, with that, I've said enough. I am. I, I hope you all have a great week. I hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend, and I'll catch you next week as we have a series of rebroadcasted episodes this month of June. And so until then, have a great week. And uh, until then, remember, choose to include and disabled voices matter. Cut you next week right here on SpecialChronicles.com. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Special Chronicles podcast. Our podcast was produced by Daniel Smukowski on the Special Chronicles Network. Follow Special Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Subscribe, rate, and review Special Chronicles on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 500 episodes for absolutely for free. Also, there's a list of our favorites, original series, award-winning columns, and blogs. And sign up for our newsletter to receive exclusive bonus content that delivers your inbox. Again, specialchronicles.com. Special Chronicles is hosted by Podbean Podcast Hosting, 
Our live streams are powered by StreamYard. Thanks, as always, to our business manager, Adam Smukowski, who always in- encourages us to never give up. I'm Daniel Smukowski, back next week with more stories. Special Chronicles. Giving respect and a voice to people with special needs.